story of the morning is that uh, Manchester City are apparently interested in Declan Rice. Pep Guardiola has identified Declan Rice as his long-term replacement for Fernandinho. Mm. Um, so, if you're the agent, you're looking at this going, yeah, let's do that. I mean, he doesn't need to play for England now. But imagine being the English player at Manchester City. Imagine being the only good, well, Raheem Sterling, obviously. Uh, and Sterling's probably going to be there for a good while unless Real Madrid decide to sign him. OK, so we take the English talent in Manchester City at the moment, people who play regularly. Uh, there's four of them, unless I'm missing anybody, who play regularly at the moment. S three of them play for England, one of them doesn't play as much. So Stones, Walker, Sterling, I would say, are all higher profile than Fabian Delph. And the thing with Delph is that obviously he's not a starter, technically. It's, yeah. it's Mendy, but because of his injury problems over the last two years, Delph it, it, it feels like a starting player. And because he's not as much of a three lion as, as the other three uh, England players in that Manchester City uh, squad, match day squad regularly, then he doesn't, to me, have that same level of profile. Because, no, like, but I know I, we, we are talking on the back of a World Cup year. Yeah, I think the argument also, though, is that Fabian Delph was not signed by Pep Guardiola, right? He wasn't part of that era of players who have come in, or he wasn't even signed, I think, by the Cheeky Bagheristein era. I think he comes just before that. He was signed in 2015. When the biggest time arrived, I, I don't know, but it was definitely summer twenty fifteen when he left Villa. Um, okay, so maybe maybe it was that group. I'm not sure, but anyway, it, he doesn't seem like a quintessentially Guardiola player. Whereas Declan Rice will be coming as like their big money signing yeah. from another English, English, still Premier League club, not team who are like uh, fire selling their players to try and pay off debts. Like that'll be a massive signing when it happens. Do you subscribe to the idea of what Mick McCarthy was saying on Golden Sunday a few weeks ago that the hundred cap club? could be a real incentive to Declan Rice? Or are we actually at the stage now where if Manchester City sign him, the 100 cap club for England could actually become a realistic possibility? Yeah, totally. I mean, so I, the 100 cap thing is actually an irrelevance. You, but, swing, but, you swing back and forth on this, like the importance of it. Um, like, if he signs Manchester City, he will be stinking rich. But he'll be stinking rich times two if he plays for England 100 times as a Manchester City player, right? Yeah, like, yeah exactly. You, you have a chance of not only the, the profile of playing for England, but actual international tournament success. And captaincy. Captaincy, yeah, it, it's like on top of that as well, but you talk about kind of decades down the line with these big World Cup draws and stuff, and you can see Declan Rice in sepia tinted uh, Qatar 2022 uh, montages after winning the World Cup and he's there to do the draw and all that sort of stuff. He, like it's, it's to become an absolute global superstar, you probably need to play for England unless... You're Roy Keane. You're Roy Keane. Yeah. Yeah, uh, Robbie Keane did all right. Robbie Keane would be as close. Yeah, uh, he's not. Yeah, it's not. It's not you're, you're, you're talking Harry Kane, Wayne Rooney level here. If he gets to kind of a, an England captaincy level. That being said, the guy's 19. The guy has not played for England yet. No, there is a dramatic overreaction here in we're, everything I'm saying. <laughs> we're uh, yeah, we're imagining a future that doesn't exist just yet.